Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. One of the most exciting news hit today because Toyota announced that they will introduce a 40th anniversary version of the Toyota 4Runner. The beloved 4Runner is indeed hitting 40 years and as you know I've owned many different versions of the 4Runner, in fact 7 different iterations over the years and I currently own a new 4Runner Limited. So I am very excited about the news. But this only confirms that the 2023 Forerunner remains as the 5th gen, which is the current version, and the new version is yet to come. But most interesting news is that initially, this year, which is the 2022 calendar year for the 2023 model year, the new Forerunner, which is a 6th generation, was supposed to come. And this is all due to the leaked dealer marketing information that was shown to us a couple of years ago, which shows that uh, new Forerunner will indeed show up this year. But by now, most of us know that that isn't happening, not only because of this new 2023 uh, announcement, but also because of the fact that the supply chain and the chip shortage and all kinds of other world uh, affairs are impacting the delivery of the new generation Forerunner. In fact, I think the Forerunner has been delayed by over a year, maybe up to a year and a half, but this was not planned by Toyota. They were supposed to introduce the new version this year, so the 40th anniversary version would have been the new model. So that's the most interesting news, is that this current version of the Forerunner with the 40th anniversary edition was not planned earlier. All because of the fact that the 6th generation Forerunner was delayed unexpectedly because of the world uh, issues we're facing today. And that's why they quickly had to create uh, the 40th anniversary using the current version of the Forerunner. So that's sort of the inside scoop based on my understanding of what's happening behind the scene. And so even though we are very excited about the 40th anniversary version, I'm also disappointed that the new version of the Forerunner has been delayed by this much. Now I think the new version of the Forerunner could be pretty exciting because apparently it's going after the Ford Bronco crowd and therefore it's going to be rugged, very off-road capable, and maybe even more interesting than the current version. Uh, of course, no one has seen the new version of the Forerunner, not even as a prototype or a mule running around, mainly because it's built in Japan, engineered in Japan, and therefore oftentimes leaks are very hard to come by. But based on my speculation, uh, I've created some rendering, as you probably already know by now, and whether or not it's going to look exactly like this, well, it's anybody's guess right now. But what I can say is that because the 2023 Forerunner has been announced already with the special edition, I am 100% sure that the 2024 model year Forerunner will indeed be the new version, which is a 6th generation. It will more than likely have the 2.4 liter turbocharged engine, replacing the V6 engine, which I know many of you guys are not happy about, but as you already probably know, even the Highlander has dropped the V6 and only going with the 2.4 turbo. So, so there should be no surprise that the Forerunner is following the same footsteps as the Highlander. However, I am recently hearing some rumors, and these are very much rumors, that a V6 engine might be offered in addition to the 2.4 liter turbo four-cylinder engine. And that could be part of the TRD Pro package. Uh, now, I have uh, my doubts about it. I really don't think uh, Toyota will offer two different types of engines in the same lineup. Not for a model lineup that is currently producing about 150,000 units a year. There's just not enough volume to accommodate two different types of engines altogether. Uh, but I am very confident that there will be a hybrid version offered in the Forerunner. They have to because they're electrifying everything. So my best guess still at this point is a 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder as a base engine and then the 2.4 liter turbo with a hybrid system for the TRD Pro or the new version of the Forerunner flagship model, which, which could be something like a Forerunner Platinum or maybe even the Forerunner Capstone, who knows, these new models could show up in the Forerunner lineup, just like the way they showed up in the Tundra. So those are some of the interesting comments about what's happening in the world of Forerunner. 
I'm going to be also talking more about the power train and the technology in the new foreigner in upcoming weeks. So stay tuned for that. And I also will be creating a video about、um, the 40th anniversary in terms of the history behind this and how the foreigner has evolved over the years. So those, so those are all the things that are coming up. Please subscribe if you can and give me a thumbs up and make some comments. But thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'm signing off for now. Bye bye.